What's poppin' YouTube? Can I show another reaction video? App Soul just dropped some new shit. So we gonna peep it. This shit wrinkled as fuck. God damn. Let's check it out. Your rage came from because my original uh, YouTube channel name was Flights Rage. Because the whole point of that channel was literally just to make rage videos on flight. And that was it. That was all I was doing. I was going to stop. But people kept telling me, make more videos, make more videos, make more videos. And since I was making more videos and it wasn't only about flight, I was like, I got to take flight name out of this. And I was around the time where I was making people upset. Like, I was making people Yes, like if you end up on my channel, there's a good point, uh, like, 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 uh, chance that you're mad or something, like, like, you, you, you were raging or something. Plus, I was an angry ass. Your rage, you got it easy. It was, it was just like a whole lot of things into it. You feel me? Just, just like that. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of knew I wanted to do some type of content for a minute because I was uploading Call of Duty montages since I was like 14 years okay. old, recording on the v on the camera, buying an HD PVR. <laughs> Did was, you have I'll, a dazzle? Yes, bro. I had the dazzle, all that, bro. I was. Just, I, was trying, I was trying to get in phase optics. <laughs> They ain't see me. And I started doing YouTube mixes, like NBA mixes, like no. them shit. Them jokes is kind of fire. That ain't really work out. And I started doing music. Re I seen I'm Dante, and he kind of inspired me to do music reactions. For sure. And I ain't gonna lie, nobody knows about. It. Nobody's really seen them at all. But they're they're picking up traction. Like I had a Nicki Minaj reaction hit like 80k. Damn. This is why I shut that channel down. I'm embarrassed to even say this part. Well, fuck it. My stepdad. Cause nobody knew, nobody in my family knew, none of my homies, cause I ain't gonna lie, it was like, in my head like, yo, this is some lame ass shit, like, this, like I'm reacting to the fucking videos on YouTube music, like, this, if somebody in my real life catch me doing this shit, like, like, I'm getting flamed, like, this is some lame ass shit. And uh, my stepdad, he was doing something with my mom, and I like, um, walked in the house, like, they were having like a date, and I walked in the crib, I was like, what's up? And then he called me by my YouTube name, and then he's like, I like, oh, no. I like the reaction. And I was like, "Your rage gaming." <laughs> it, was, it was, it was, it was. What was it? Like Josh, just Josh, or some shit. He's like, he's like, I like the Black Barbies reaction. Josh, just Josh. And I was like, "Damn, no, nah, that's crazy." What the fuck? So that, like, that's when I was like, "Okay, that's kind of weird." I got hella anxious. I'm like, "No, nah, no, nah, what the fuck? How, how, how did you find this shit? How did you find this shit?" A few days later, my homeboy in my neighborhood commented on one of my videos. I'm like. All right, nah, I'm shutting this shit down. This shit is embarrassing. This shit is whack. And I shut that. I shut that motherfucker down. I ain't gonna lie, right? So that was like in 2015, 16. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is when the plugging shit starts up. I'm in college, broke as fuck. You know how it be. I'm doing an essay for ENC 1101 or two or some shit. I have Twitch on in the background. I wasn't really on Twitch like that, but for some reason that day I just decided let me go on Twitch.tv. Have some background noise, mm -hmm. and it's flight just playing the game. He, I don't, I don't remember exactly what he was doing. But he he went from doing some normal shit to like spazzing, like like drunk as fuck, yelling, spitting all over the camera, just <laughs> just going crazy. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And the next day, I show my home, but I'm like, yo, this nigga crazy. Like, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> like, this is this is live. Nobody's showing this. Like, this is not on the on YouTube or nowhere. I feel like a lot of niggas would like this shit. And he went live again. I'm like, yo, how do I screen record shit? I looked up uh, went on Google OBS. I screen recorded. I screen recorded. I'm like, yo. People gotta see this because this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. So I, I made a random YouTube channel called Flex Rage. I just posted on it. I was I dead just wanted people to see that. I wasn't gonna do nothing else from that. I posted it. Motherfucker got like 30k views in like Jeez. five days. I said, what the fuck? They're like, post a part two, post a part two. I'm like, all right, bet. I made a part two of it, had a little bit of edits in it. They're like, yo, this is fire. I like your editing. I'm like, I'm like, okay, okay. I'm like, okay. Now they're asking more. Do more people, do more people, clip more people's stream. They're like, okay. I do like Cash Nasty, Soul Illuminati, uh, Oprah side. I do like a rage comp, and that just kind of, kind of 
builds bro and and i also was adding my own like personality and touch into it i was getting into beefs and i was i was I'm not gonna lie, I was very, very, very curious on why the fuck did people watch me? Like, like why why are people watching me for it? I'm just posting other people like not watching me, but like they also cared about like like me. Like it wasn't just like alright, we just fuck with these YouTubers. Mm -hmm. They're following me on social media, telling me to do my own videos, telling me to do this. I'm like, nah, like I don't like I'm just posting this shit for fun. I'm not really getting paid like that. All my shit's yellow mark. To see him just just uh, humorously just like upload my rants and shit. At first, I just wasn't fucked with him like that. And then the other fact of him just having a flight to rage. And then like, you know, it was just one day. I was just mad as fuck and I just happened to go on his channel. And like, I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? Why does this kid just keep bothering me, bro? Like, what the fuck does he want from me? And then I looked at the description one time. I looked at the description. It was like a rant video I did on like Twitch or some shit. And like the fucking description said Flight Reacts, drugs he's off of. And it said uh, Steph Curry's nutsack, pubic hair, some shit. When I seen that, I was just like, all right, man, this nigga's just playing. He's just trolling. So like after I seen that, I was just like, man, I'm, just, I'm out my feelings with that. Bro, to be honest with you, bro, he's honestly creating a wave for himself, bro. And you're honestly going to see more and more channels, you know what I'm saying, try to ride that shit out. I'm going to predict that shit around Thanksgiving or December, bro. Like, he created, like, you know what I'm saying, an own pathway because, in a way, it's like, it's like TMZ and it's like the drama alert, but it's just like, all of that shit put together in one, bro. And I'm trying to tell you, like, people are going to be trying to, people going to try to ride that shit, bro. I'm, a, I, I'm, I'm predicting by like November or December, but you're going to see a lot more channels like trying to do that shit in the format because it's a news channel and it's like also a parody and it's like a rage channel, like all in one. And like YouTube really, they needed something like that, but nobody's ever did that or probably thought about it. Eventually, like I get bored of this shit. I, 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 I dead ass get bored of this shit. I spending too much time on it, not making enough money like it is what it is. And I got bored. Um, at, and around that time, I was mainly, mainly like a solo Minati plug, cause he streamed the most out of all of them, and that's what all the jits loved. What they loved, they loved solo Minati. Yeah. I love solo Minati. He was funny yeah. as hell. But uh, yeah, I got bored of this shit. I'm like, yo, I was talking to Chris. I was cool with Chris next door at the time. Yeah. He was the main one, always telling me like, yo, do some, do your own, like, do some. You're funny, nigga. Like, do some shit, do some shit. And I was telling him the same shit too. Um, but I'm like, you know what, fuck it. Let me make a separate channel. Nothing to do with this plug and shit. I'm gonna shut this channel down. I'm leave the videos up, but I'm not gonna touch it anymore. I'm gonna just leave that for history. Mm -hmm. Keep it. Um, so I made the Your Age Gaming channel. Hopping on Fortnite and shit, playing Fortnite. Uh, I had around like 100 viewers. I, I go live on there. Um, I never thought about live streaming, but Zeus, you know, Zeus, Zeus and Discord at the time. I don't know if you remember. You remember Discord? Yeah, yeah. They were like, yo. You dare have a good personality. Stream, 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 stream. Dante was on my ass about that too. Stream, stream, she to be good for that. I'm like, nah, that's corny. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'ma say. Like, I feel like I'ma stutter, I'ma be nervous. I'm on Fortnite on the Your Age Gaming channel on YouTube. 100 viewers, 120 viewers here and there. And that's a lot. And it's a lot. And I'm cool. Yeah. I'm loving my community. Like, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm fucking with these niggas, but it gets to a point where I'm like, I'm living at my mama crib because again, I'm a broke ass college student. Uh, working on the weekends and shit, like, I'm living at my mama crib, but it's like, I can't yell. I can't do what I got to do. I'm like, yo, I need my own space. So whatever money I made off Super Chats and whatever bullshit job I was working at the time, I rented out an office, like an office space for like oh wow. Oh, wow, 600 a month or some shit, something like that. And I'd go, I moved my whole setup to the office and it was like a business of like doctors were working in there seeing clients and shit. <laughs> but after a certain time, there's nobody in there. There's nobody in there after like eight, but you still had the card key to the building. So I was, I was come like eight, nine o'clock. I was in there streaming, screaming, going crazy, but it was down pat. It was a down bad office, bro. There was roaches in that motherfucker. God damn. It was all type of, but so, so stream used to troll me about that and shit. Doctors so I, used to be in there? Yeah, I'm like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I don't know if they had like special shit in their rooms, but my, my fucking off, like, there's so many moments on stream where a roach will crawl on the screen or some shit. I'll scream, <laughs> nigga, or crawl from under the vent or some shit. And I'm just like, yo, this place is down. Terrible, bro. But yeah, like, yeah, I was I was uh, chilling on Fortnite for about, what, like, 100 viewers and shit. And I didn't really start popping off till, like, I started playing, like, scary games. Mm -hmm. I started playing scary games. And for some reason, people say I got, like, a like a weird scream. I think it's pretty normal. Like, you scream like a bitch. Nah, I... I 
Do I? That's mad disrespectful. I'm just—that's what people said. I'm not saying that. Right, what, 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 what do you say? What do you? What, what do you think he screams? I think like? he just screams like a very feminine man. My nigga, in the water. Go, go, bitch, move. Yeah. So like, I was playing scary games. Emily wants to play it. That was the first one I played, and like. I don't know, I started getting more traction in there, like 400 viewers, six, like 500 sometimes. And when I- This happened on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, yeah. I was streaming on YouTube. And sometimes when I stream Fortnite, one time I got to like a thousand, I'm like, yo, a thousand motherfuckers popping up here. But not cause of like, I'm your rate. They, they, they thought I was good at the game. And for scary games, they, they just like my scream. They like me screaming and shit, but I hated it. Cause I genuinely, bro, me too, me too. it's I not fake. Yeah. Like, like, I don't know if people think my script. I hate playing scary games because I genuinely get scared, bro. I, I hate it and that scream is authentic and it hurts my voice. Like I dead lose my voice sometimes. This is this is when like the biggest shift in my like content happens. Mm. There was a very dark day on this YouTube shit. Very, very, very dark day. I thought it was up. I already knew, I already thought to myself, look, this YouTube shit is only gonna last about like one, two, three years. Like when I was plugging on God in my hand, I'm like, okay, this is gonna last like six, like six months, like to a year. You're right though. Yeah, that, that, like for most people. For most people, that's just, that's, just, yeah. that's just reality. That's why I didn't drop out of school yet. Cause I was like, yo, this is just for right now. I'm not just gonna. Cause a lot of motherfuckers just drop out of school without like having shit built up yet. Like I, I'm like, I'm scared of that. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm scared. Cause especially when my mom, my mom was like, yo, you kicked out of my house if you're not at school. So I was like, okay, bad. Damn. So I was in school, hated it, but I was in school. I was in college. I was at uni. What'd you study? Computer science. Damn, that's tough. It's tough. Yeah, it's that, that shit. That shit was AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. Okay, so boom. You nervous? I was streaming right on YouTube, and then my stream goes black. I was like, "What the fuck?" And YouTube banned me from streaming for like a month. I'm like, "Nigga, I'm, uh, what do you mean banning? I'm paying my tuition with this, with this, with these. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I gotta pay this office. Like, what the fuck? What do you mean ban me for streaming? And it was because I, I had a little Uzi in the background." Sanguine Paradise, the song so hard, but fuck you. It, uh, I was pissed at the time. You I was banned tight. for playing a song. Yes, in the background, bro. At the time, what? I was so tight. I was so, oh my god, like Uzi, like he. Bro. At the time, I was pissed, right? So I was like, damn, do I gotta? Either gotta like just lock in, get a full time job, or 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 or. That's how that's how dependent I was like month to month type. And this shit. was after you dropped out. No, no, no I'm no, still in school. I'm still in okay, school. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm still paying my tuition. I, I set up a payment plan and all type of shit. Or I gotta move to Twitch. And I hated the thought of Twitch. The shit was just so ugly to me. I'm like, yo, I ain't going to that, <laughs> going to that fucking lame ass shit. Like, who the fuck streaming on Twitch, bro? Like, what the fuck? Like, I was like, ah. But my viewers were like, go, oh, just go, just go, just try it, just try it. I'm like, okay. So I, I did one stream out there. It, like, it was cool. I had like, I went from. Averaging like 400 to 1,000 to like back to like where I started to like 90. And that really bothered me too much. Like still seeing people in the chat, still seeing people that was still cool. Like still streaming was still like fun to me. Mm -hmm. But it was just the fact like how much time could I put into this while still going to school and trying to make money, still trying to live and shit and like all that. So I was just being realistic at that point. So I'm like, okay, I'm going I'm to I'm see how I do on Twitch for like a month to see if I can keep doing it. And so I grind on Twitch. And each month, like, you know what I'm saying? If you just get a little high, if you just get a little high, and I'm still playing, I'm just playing Fortnite at the time, it's scary shit. My viewers were like, yo, your personality is fire. You did a few of these on YouTube, start doing reactions. React to flight, react to this, react to that. We got so many videos we want you to react to. I'm like, bro, I don't have a face cam. What the fuck, what do you, what do you mean reactions, bro? Who's doing reactions when I don't know face cam? They're like, bro, just do it. I'm like, all right, bro, let's try some reactions. We watch, we, we watch some reactions and they bang. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? There's thousands of people doing reactions. Why the fuck are my shits banging? Like, like, like I'm genuinely, to this day, I'm still kind of confused. I kind of know why, like, my personality, I, I guess, you're in, you're in but, like, yeah. but like, no face cam, no? Like, I never watched no reaction with no face cam, so I'm, I'm, so I'm just doing my thing, reacting, and the shit just keep going up, 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 meeting people along the way. And just, yeah, shit just blows the fuck up. And I get used to not doing fake. That, I don't know if that, there's a question to ask me, like, why, well, what took you so long to do face cam? Mm -hmm. But like, really is at first, uh, some shit with my college, viewers were calling my college. Cause I used to do like skits and shit too, on my flight, on my Eurase channel. Some niggas called my college up saying I'm doing some crazy shit. So my college were like, either you stop YouTube 
or you know what I'm saying? You gotta tee up none of that. So I stopped showing my face on there. And I just got used to that. Like, and I got used to no face cam. Like, I just got used to it. People would think I'm like, yo, this nigga's insecure. He gotta be insecure or something. He gotta be like a loser. He gotta be ugly. He gotta be there's something wrong with this nigga. Because you're trying to preserve your privacy. It's like, no, there's something wrong with it. Yeah. I, was, gotta be I, was just, I was just comfortable as fuck. Like, yo, I just like streaming no face cam, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got so popular for not having a face cam. Right. That became so such a big part of your brand. At a certain point, it doesn't even make sense for you to put on a face cam. Because people already grew to love you this way. And if you don't need a face cam and you, you prefer not to, why ever do it? So for a while, people just thought, like, you ran the no face cam game, man. I did. Like, if my face cam ever died on stream, the whole chat, why are you, why are you, why are you, why are you? Man, I mean, uh, I kind of kept the face cam off, too, as something like, yo, something for them to look forward to. When I get to this milestone, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do it. And let me tell you why I ended up doing it. Um... So I was approaching a million on Twitch. So there was a, there was already it's for, they thought I was going to do what I hit a million on on YouTube. I was like fuck out of here. They was kind of tied off that. They was kind of pissed off that. And my million on Twitch was coming. I was like, damn, what the? What am I going to do? Like I got to do something, bro. I just don't want to look at the countdown. Ah, like I want to do something, bro. Like we got to a million followers on Twitch, no face cam. Like I got to do something, right? And the week prior, I had gone to DreamCon and I had met. I had met you at DreamCon. I met hella people at DreamCon. So I was kind of, my face was kind of already like hella places. And that kind of made me a little bit more comfortable. I'm not going to lie. And I woke up. I just woke up one day a few days before my million. And I was like, I'm going to just do face cam for my million. I'm going to just do it. Like, fuck it. I'm going to do it. And another thing that really edged me to do it. This was like the like the straw that broke the camel's back. I think I was doing like a, I was doing a podcast with... Uh, Aiden, Kai, and like Andrew Tate or some shit, right? Oh, I remember that, yeah. And there was a few clips that went viral or something. But like, I wasn't in it. Cause like, I had no face cam. So like, there was no, there was nothing yeah, on screen. So yeah. niggas didn't even know I was in this shit. And I was like, That's damn. Tough. And like, I was reading some comments. It's like, who's that voice in the background? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck like that's kind of like damn like I bet like it is what it is so like damn how much, how much shit am I missing out on cause like motherfuckers just don't see a face like imagine that Kyrie Irving podcast just now nah, I didn't have a face game on mm -hmm. like it was just like no, it was just Bruce and, it would just be Bruce and Kai and Kyrie Irving mm -hmm. so I was like you know what? Let me just do the face cam for the million. You feel me? Give them what they want. A little VR stream, do a little some, and that's it. And I did it. It was fire. It was fun as fuck. I really was, I actually wasn't nervous. I thought I was going to be, like, nervous. And then when I turned on that camera and I got in front of it, like, once I started talking, once I started going, everything's gone. Like, it was just, it was just fun. There's, like, a lot of people that try to do what you've been able to accomplish the past few years with YRG. But there's a lot of people really, really proud about just being affiliated and associated with YRG. Honestly, I think, I don't, I really think it's just really connecting. Like, you got to connect with your with your base, like, you really got to connect with them, bro. And just being real, bro. Just being mm. authentic and real. Like, mm. like your viewers got to look at you and be like, yeah, this nigga telling the truth. Oh, this is this is, this is is him. I like this type of motherfucker. He's just thorough, just real, like, just cutthroat. Don't give a fuck about what motherfuckers going to think, and they're going to ride for you. Like, that's just mm. it. It be surprising <laughs> to me. Like, a creator could be bigger than me, right? But, like, they're not going to have, it like, their fans aren't gonna be as deep as some YRG niggas, some yeah. DEO niggas. Like, mm. they're deep as fuck, bro. And like, they, they, they're just hella, they're just, I don't know, they're just hella supportive. They're loyal as fuck. They gonna change their name to YRG. Uh, they gonna have YRG in their bio. And, and like, bro, they, they out here having like the YRG on their shoes. I'm just like, bro, that's like, I don't know if they think they in a gang or what, but like, I, I, I fuck with it. <laughs> Bro, I got, I got them tatted on me, bro. Like, oh, had shit. To, had to, oh, bro. Wow. Damn. Had That's to, low. bro. You feel me? YRG means love. YRG means happiness. No, no, not like dead ass. Like, happiness. Um, my niggas. My gangies. My lovers, like I said, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yes, troll. Troll ass motherfuckers. Troll ass annoying ass niggas sometimes. But niggas that just want to chill and have fun. You know what I'm saying? Supporting ass motherfuckers. Some loyal down motherfuckers. Boy, you know what I'm saying? That's just my lovers. My for lifers on some shit. That's it. And just my for lifers on some shit. And YG just my for lifers. You rep YG, you my for lifers on some shit.